Okay, hi everyone. Welcome to the October Team Chaos call. And you're probably thinking we have team calls every week with the big team group from Amy that we all lead them as diamonds. But I figured it would be nice to at least once a week, or I mean once a month rather, to do a team call just for the coaches in my downline so I can, you know, get to know everybody a little bit more personal, talk about things for the month, plan it. So that's why I had planned to do it on the first Thursday of every or every month. So it just happened to land on the first October 1st today. I'm such a hot mess. Um, <laughs> and um, so it just worked out. So first thing I want to say, everybody did so amazing in September. I was absolutely amazed at how many new coaches were added to the team, how many people were hitting success club, how many people were running new challenge groups, participating in the new coach mentorship training. Like September was a really busy month. And I think the whole team as a, as a whole just really grew and came together and was working really, really hard. So I'm really, really proud of all of you who hit Success Club, even got some Success Club points, even if you didn't. Make it. I'm really proud of everybody who um, really pushed um, on their business. You probably saw my announcement earlier on the page, but our top recruiter on our team was Kelly. And Kelly um, added six coaches to um, her team this month. I know Bethany added a few coaches. Bethany and Kelly are like right neck and neck. They're both really, really, really close to Diamond. They both just need a few emeralds and maybe a couple extra coaches, but they're all so close. So I think we're going to have some brand new shiny diamonds popping out here soon. Um, Kelly was also our top success club point earner in the month. She earned 37 success club points. She's just amazing. We should have her do a call where she talks about how awesome she is and how she gets all these success club points. She's probably much too humble to want to do that. I don't think she's on the call. No, she's not. Um, and then this week, um, I wanted to shout out the coaches who had earned a team cycle bonus, um, which is good because we're going to talk about team cycle bonus later. But Kendallin, Kristen, Kelly, Bethany, Leroy, Matt, who is Kristen's husband, and Leroy. Well, Leroy is Kendallin's husband. Um, and Lexi all earned a team cycle bonus this month. Or, or this week, rather. Gosh, um, I think I've drinking too much Energize. Holy cow, I'm like, oh. Um, so uh, that's awesome. And we're going to talk about how the team cycle bonus works a little bit later in the call. But basically, they are growing their team, and they're being rewarded with a team cycle bonus in their paycheck each week. So it's kind of an amazing thing to earn a little bit of income off of helping your team grow. Um, this month, these are, this is what I have on my calendar for this month, and if there's something that you want to add or have questions about, um, as of right now, I'm going to be running a 21-day fix challenge group starting on October 19th, and I want help filling this group because I had been running these groups and like putting my old customers into my new groups, and so I usually get a, quite a big group, but this group I'm going to be starting from scratch because all of my old customers are in now a revolving group. So I think if we could come together as a team, and if anybody has anybody they want to add to that group, we'll, we will be starting prep, prep week on October 19th. So they just need to order by October 19th. Of course, if you're running challenge groups with other people in the team at different dates, that's fine. I'm just letting you know when my group is. So if you have people, you can add them to. Of course, you probably saw that the 21 Day Fix is the promotion for this month, which is really exciting. Because I think the 21 Day Fix is usually the challenge pack that I lead people to because I think it's the one that changes and helps the most. So I think on months when it's on sale, it's a really good chance to reach people who have those price objections. Um, I'm also going to be running a sneak peek group at the end of the month on October 26th, which is the last Monday of the month. I'll be running that for five days. And in that time, there will also be a push to Emerald group run with Amy's team. So it will kind of coincide. You'll have the sneak peek growing, and you'll have the Emerald group. So you'll be able to invite people the week before to kind of in preparation for the sneak peek, or, or sorry, for the push to Emerald group. Some of you may have just been in the push to Emerald group, and we had that event that started a couple days. I think it was a little unorganized. I may do another event. I'm not really sure, but I think I will for sure do a regular sneak peek group so people have some place to invite people to get information. I think we had really good success at the end of August with that event that we ran with that other team. And I don't know how many of you were on the event just a couple days ago. What day was that? Tuesday? Monday? Tuesday? Either way, I don't think it was organized as well or it just didn't seem to have the same vibe as it did before. So that's something we can discuss 
in the team page to see what we want to do, what works best, but that's the plan. Um, sneak peek group going with the um, uh, Emerald training at the end of the month. I think, I don't know how many of you applied for the Push the Diamond group, but I know Kelly and Lexi and Courtney were the ones I think that were chosen. Is that correct? Is there anybody else? And Bethany, that's right. Bethany, anybody else who was chosen? I think that was it from our little team. The rest, I think, for, were from Amy's team. So that starts, I think, next week, next Monday. So that will be something that we'll be talking about, and you'll be getting one-on-one -on -one mentorship with um, the Diamonds that we're running the group with that are also in a different team. Any questions on what's to come in the future? I may throw in a clean eating group in there as well. I haven't really committed to it yet. I don't want to overschedule us all, so we're just all over the place. I'd rather take just a couple events and really focus on them really well than to be scattered thin all over the place. So as of right now, I don't plan on running a clean eating group. Um, okay, first, before I talk about the topic I wanted to talk about, I want to talk about the team cycle bonus and how it works as an emerald. Did you share that video with them from Michael Neiman? I think that's my smoke alarm. Um, and they still were confused. Can you tell me a little bit what they were confused about so I know what exactly to hit on? I think it was just, um, just in general, I think like the two to one ratio, well, two, two to one ratio really confused them and how the volume works and how they get it from the team. Okay. So everybody knows that an Emerald Coach, I'm going to draw a really rudimentary um, drawing here. An Emerald Coach is um, a coach on your strong leg and a coach on your weak leg. Um, and everybody's strong leg and weak leg is different, so it can be confusing because my strong leg is somebody else's weak leg or vice versa. So you really need to talk to your personally sponsored coach and have them tell you, this is your strong leg and this is your weak leg if you're not sure. That's the first step. So make sure you know which one's your strong and which one is your weak leg. Your strong leg is going to get um, coaches. Oh, here, hold on, I gotta add me. So, of course, we're all in a big triangle. Can you see my drawing okay? Um, we're all in a big triangle. So here, here's me. And um, I have signed up you. And um, you, have, you now have, oh, I drew that the wrong way. Hold on. I made my strong leg on the wrong side. Go upstairs, Austin. This is better. Again, really rude. So here's me. Here's you. This is your strong leg. See how it goes in a line? Of course, there's other coaches way up the line here who are all still adding coaches to this line right here. So this is your strong leg. That's why it's called your strong leg, because you're getting volume from me, so I might sign more coaches up. I'm going to put a coach here. This is my coach in a different color. And here's one of your coaches. And here's one, another one of my coaches. Does that make sense? So on your strong leg, you're getting, you're putting your coaches there, but you're also getting coaches up here from me. That's why it's called your strong leg. So you're gonna earn volume from these coaches here and here and anybody else who's up placed on this strong leg. You need something? Yeah, go ahead. Um, you'll get volume, so if this coach here then starts to add coaches, you're gonna get volume off of them, or if they make sales, you're gonna get volume off of them. Same with down here. So this leg will be your strong leg. You have to put coaches on this leg, especially to be a diamond coach, you need to have four coaches here, four coaches here, or an emerald, you have to have one and one. But the leg that you really want to focus on once you have good stability in your strong leg is actually your weak leg. Nobody's gonna put coaches over here except for you. This is the leg that if you build, you will earn the most income off of. So, of course, like I said, Beachbody makes it so we have to have two legs. It's called a binary network marketing um, system. But um, once you have four here and four here, you can then continue to build more coaches here as long as you're keeping the stability here. So what I usually tell people to do when they first sign up as a coach and they're an Emerald coach, they, I, I advise people if they sign up their spouse to sign their spouse up here on their strong leg and then their next four coaches 
on their weak leg. So their next four coaches are on the weak leg. So they have five coaches, but four of them are on their weak leg. Why do I do that? Well, they can control their, their spouse's account and make sure he stays active so they're not going to lose emerald. And the more coaches you put on your weak leg, the more often you're going to cycle. So for every 200 in um, volume PV on your strong leg and 100 on your weak leg, you earn um, $14. So... So you have all these coaches here, they're selling challenge packs or they're on their Shakeology themselves. that's 90 PV. So for every 200 that you get, 200 volume points that rack up in your um, strong leg versus 100 in your weak leg, you will earn $14. That's called the team cycle. And that calculation goes over and over and over again. And so say you have a really strong leg and your weak leg isn't developed very much, and you're an emerald coach, you will start to store this volume. And um, so then it's there stored and ready for you to use anytime you start to build your weak leg. So that's the bonus of being an emerald coach is you get to store that volume for later for when you start to build your weak leg. Does anybody have any questions about that? Is that confusing? Do you know where to check? Does everybody know where to check their volume? Because I can show you, it's in my business, my volume, and um, and you have to be an Emerald Coach to see that. So my business, my volume, I believe is what it is, and it'll show you each week. So you can check it throughout the week to see how much volume is being earned on your strong leg and how much volume is being earned on your weak leg. Anybody have any questions about that? Don't be afraid to ask. I should show you really quick where to find the volume. Um, yeah, let me, I'll share my screen so I can show you, because you know, I'm a two-star diamond coach, and I just learned about where to check my volume, I swear, like six months ago, I don't know where I was, <laughs> what I was doing. Um, somebody showed me, I was like, wow, that's so cool to be able to know what my weak leg volume is. Hold on, let me share my screen. Okay, so here I am, so you go to my business, my volume, and you can see your carryover volume too. So my volume, and it's by week. So like, this was last week. I had 1,075 in weak leg volume and 3,487 in strong leg volume. And then you can see what the volume has started already for today. So you can go back far, far, far. Um, and then you can look at my volume, my carryover volume. Maybe. And so here's my carryover volume. I have carried over 29 PV in my weak leg right now, and I have all of this stored volume right here from my strong leg. So I have a lot of strong leg volume. So the more I can build my weak leg and try and catch my strong leg, the more income I can earn from a team cycle bonus. That make sense? Questions? Good? Everybody good? Okay, because I don't, I can. Feel free to unmute yourself and say, I don't get it, or can you explain it a little bit more? No worries at all. Everybody good? Okay, there was another topic I wanted to talk about briefly tonight, and many of you heard it um, on Tuesday on our new mentorship call. Um, I'm kind of going to go over some of the same things, um, because it's something that I kind of had an aha moment of myself, and um, trying to find my notes, hold on. I really want to talk about um, setting business hours in your business and I know we've all heard it before that everybody should set business hours so that you this business isn't taking over your life like I told the people on the mentorship call this business is a very selfish business and if you let it it will rule your life and you will be constantly checking your phone and obsessed with am I doing this am I messaging that somebody back are you following up it will take over your life and it will literally feel like you're working from the moment you wake up to the moment you go to bed because I know that's how I've been feeling lately, and you know what? It makes me feel miserable. That's not the life I want to design. And everybody had always told me, well, set business hours, which is what I had done. I had set business hours, but one, I wasn't sticking to them, and two, when I was doing my business hours, I wasn't focused. So I found this really awesome app that I've just started using um, called 30, 30-30, and it's an app that can, you can download, 
and you can, it's basically a, a timer where you can set tasks. So say I have it set that when I'm going to be working my business hours, I have it blocked off for this time I'm going to be working on my power of three, and this time I'm going to be working on my social media, and this time I'm going to be working on inviting, and this time I'm going to be helping my coaches, and this time I'm going to be tackling my to-do list. Because what I was doing is in my business hours, I was like, okay, I'm going to work. And then I would start to message somebody, and then something shiny happened over here, and then something happened here, and something happened here, and I wasn't accomplishing anything anywhere because I was dabbling here and dabbling here and dabbling here, and I wasn't getting anything done. And I, I was going to bed feeling like I worked all day and accomplished nothing. So I decided I have to change things. I need to be focused. So what I'm doing when I'm working on my power of three, which is the one I have set first because it's the one I need to do the most and it's the one I usually want to skip. When I want to talk to people and invite and create relations with people, I need to make that a priority. So when I'm doing that, if I'm getting messages from coaches or potential customers that like want to challenge back or people who have questions, I ignore that because during this time, I'm doing my power of three and I'm not doing anything else. And when the timer beeps, even if I'm not completely done with my power of three, I'm moving on to the next thing. And I do that with each task because at least I'm accomplishing something in each category that I need every single day as opposed to dabbling all over the place and spreading myself thin where I'm not accomplishing anything. And then I, when I'm not working, I'm not working. I'm trying really hard to stay off my phone completely. I'll hear the notifications or I'll hear messages and I've decided to say, you know what, this can wait. If somebody wants to order a challenge pack tonight and it's nine o'clock at night, do I need to message them back? I always feel like, oh my God, I'm in bed, but I better get up and head to the computer and message them back. You know, that's not the life I want to live. I want to be able to have people wait there. I mean, if they're going to order it today, why wouldn't they order it tomorrow? So if I'm done for the night, I can message the person in the morning. Hey, thanks for waiting. I was with my family or I had already gone to bed. Thank you. I'd love to help you out now. It's okay to let people wait for you. I think in this business, we have the idea that we have to be constantly available. And that's impossible because when we're constantly available to everybody, we're present for no one. And I know that's something that's happened to me recently. And I don't want to be not present for my family. I don't want to be letting notifications and group messages and challenge groups and those kind of stuff spread me so thin that I'm miserable and I'm not happy with the way my business is. I want to be able to control it and design it in a way that's successful for my family, in a way that's successful for me. So I think if you're checking in with your challengers in the morning and you have a time in the evening when you're following up, yes, they may have questions earlier in the day or this kind of stuff, but they can post in the group. Somebody may else have an answer. If it's not an emergency, they can wait or they might search out the answer for themselves. So it's a way to kind of empower people in a different way as well. I think if you're constantly available, you're gonna spread yourself too thin and, and you're gonna wear out and you're gonna burn out and you're not gonna to wanna to do it. So that's what I suggest. Set business hours, but also make it focused. So say you're gonna work for two hours at one block when your kids are napping. Don't just say, okay, I'm gonna work for two hours. Say, I'm gonna work for two hours, but for this 15 minutes, I'm gonna do this. And for this 15 minutes, I'm going to do this. And this half hour, I'm going to do this. And then stick to it as much as possible. And granted, it's not always going to go perfect. But if at least you have that guide. And for me, having that visual of that timer, and then it would beep at me, and I'd be like, okay, it's time to move on and do this. And that way, when I was focused on it, and I was getting messages and notifications from other, way, other places, I wasn't getting distracted. Because it's easy to comment on somebody's photo when you're trying to create a relationship and then everybody else comments and you're getting notifications. It's easy to get drugged back there to see what everybody else is saying and doing and it doesn't produce anything for you. It just wastes your time. Our business is run on Facebook for the most of us and Facebook can be great, but it can also be the world's biggest time sucker. And before you know it, you've wasted a half an hour scrolling through Facebook thinking I'm working when you're not really working. So that's what I'd encourage you to do. Set yourself some good business hours, but be focused on the tasks that you need to do while you're doing them. Because like I said, really, 
And my uh, two-star diamond co call that I had earlier this week with a group of other two-star diamond coaches and this lady from Beachbody, she said, you can build this business to a six-figure income working four to six hours a day if you work four to six hours a day focused. Granted, you most coaches that are you know five-star, ten-star diamonds might say, I'm working 12 hours a day. And she might say, hey, are you focused? What are you really putting your time into and what is really necessary? And cut back the stuff that's not necessary. Because really, we shouldn't be working more than, I don't know, if you're a coach, Emerald Coach, an hour, two hours a day, I don't think you'd be good. Message people, continue to create relationships. This isn't a business where you need to, you know, spend eight hours every day doing. It should be able to be done in a way that has balance for your family. So that's all I got for tonight. Just be balanced. Don't be that crazy person obsessed with your phone because you'll start to burn out and you'll start to not want to do it and it'll get frustrating and your kids will notice it and they'll get upset too. So this business is an amazing business and an amazing opportunity for us to provide income for our families to help people with their health and fitness. But we have to remember that we are in charge of how we want to do it and we are in charge of how much of our time we're gonna to give to it and how smart we are with our time. Don't let this business be selfish and take over from your family because your family really comes first. And when, with your, when you're with your family, be with your family. And when, with, when you're with your spouse, be with your spouse. Everything can wait. That challenger that might be falling apart, you know what, she can wait a half an hour if you're with your family or she can wait a day. You know, just get, if you're getting back to people within 12 to 24 hours, that's okay. Because you know what, my husband, who used to be a recruiter for the Air Force, and he always compares this business to being a recruiter, he has always said you can't be people's social workers all the time. Because we have to remember that we have to give our hearts to people, but then at some point we have to give our hearts, but have a little bit of boundaries too. Because if we don't have that boundary, what we give can be everything, and it can be a lot on us maritally for our children, for our own well-being. So you have to take care of you too. Anyways, that's all I got tonight. I'm really proud of all of you. You guys are doing amazing. I feel completely blessed that you guys are all here and sticking with me. Like I said, I'm a hot mess of crazy all the time. But you know what? I think if I ask all of you, I think that's why we're all together because we're all like a hot mess of crazy. But anyways, I love you guys. I'm really proud of you. And thank you. We'll have another one of these calls first Thursday in November, if you can believe it. And um, still doing the weekly team calls paired up with Amy's team on determination. If you have any questions or you need me, send me a message. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. 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 Thanks. No worries. Bye.